Canelo Alvarez makes history. Makes history just like I have expected, just like you've expected, because I've mentioned numerous times that Saul Canelo Alvarez is the pound for pound, if not the greatest pound for pound boxer of all time. And he's made history by becoming the first ever undisputed super middleweight champion in boxing history. I'm talking about the first ever super middleweight champion in boxing history. I don't know what's going on, but Mexicano, Mexico, like Mexicans are just amazing people, honestly. And Canelo Alvarez inherited the amazingness. I'm talking about the Mexican toughness, the Mexican spirit. And look, mate, the guy uh, moved up to 168 pounds, honestly. And he's a smaller man, to be honest. Canelo Alvarez has moved up so many different weight classes and fought so many guys, so many guys way bigger than him and successful in knocking these people out. In fact, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. I mean, we're talking about Callum Smith, for example, talking about Sergei Karvalev and Caleb Plant, honestly. 11 round bro I'm talking about 11 round Canelo dominated it to be honest and when I was looking at it I was watching the fight right and I obviously clearly had Canelo winning like I obviously had Canelo winning right I had it 98 to 92 just like a lot of people as well and I when I looked at this morning as well in the zone obviously news and that um they had Canelo about 98 to 92 winning the fight as well which was obviously close to my, exactly the same as I've had it right I had Canelo winning the substantial majority of the rounds and that which was incredible, um, uh, but to add to that, like, the, the guy's a legend, honestly, the guy's a legend, he's the best, he's the greatest, obviously, I'm not going to try to kiss ass or something like that, but I'm just saying, like, he is the greatest pound-for-pound pound boxer of all time, like, it's not just, like, in the middleweight or super middleweight division, he's the greatest of all time, and it's demonstrated by his performance against Caleb Plant, and obviously going into the fight, we all know that Caleb Plant obviously had the height advantage, right, and obviously the height, height advantage, he was going to try and use that to obviously push and bully Canelo Alvarez, and obviously since he had the longer reach as well, he's going to try and use the reach to his advantage, and he started well establishing his jab, to be honest, I was getting frustrated with Canelo, to be honest, you know what I mean, it's like trying to close the distance and just rip those hard body shots, you know what I mean, but eventually Canelo, just like he's always done, um, he doesn't, he's not the kind of person who starts a fight really strong, he does sometimes, but there's a lot of cases or a lot of incidents, for example, a lot of fights, excuse me, where he doesn't start the round really strong, or or as strong as you might have expect him to do because he's one of the greatest if not the greatest of all time right so you know you expect him to you know start the round dominating and you know just whipping laying this smack in like someone's candy ass right but sometimes he doesn't and he gets frustrating and i do get a little bit nervous to be honest especially when he's fighting a bigger guy like someone like caleb plant but obviously he controlled controlled it really well and overall that left hook made that wobbled him then the right hand honestly everything just came together and he wobbled and he dropped him and he got back up and but you can tell that the guy was not fully there to be honest so like the ref you know could have stopped the fight maybe with fast knockdown to be honest because when he was walking towards him you can tell the Caleb plan was just out of it to be honest but Canelo just gave him an easy way out and just finished him knocked him out cold to be honest almost nearly flew out the ring that's how good Canelo Alvarez is so who's next for Canelo Alvarez we've talked about we've you know we've talked about many opponents and he easily wiped those opponents out right so you've got the guy I think his name is DeAndraj or something I can't remember the guy's name to be honest and then you've got the Charlo brothers I think it's Jamal or Jamel Charlo I think these people would be you know the next opponents one of these people one of these fighters would definitely be the next opponent uh, for Khalil Alvarez to be honest because there's no one else he's beating Callum Smith he's beating every single person I'm um, talking about every decent challenger in the super middleweight or middle middleweight division he's beating them up you know what I mean so who else is there for Khalil Alvarez nobody the guy's special the guy's a legend he's made history amazing honestly incredible absolutely sensational i i just i just want to shake his hand i just want to do you honestly i really want to do you because honestly